hi you guys we're back again with another tutorial today's video is sponsored by saying top braided wigs if you want to see how i install this unit stay tuned this is the construction of this unit i really really like it straight out of the pack the braids were amazing i'll be installing this with my ebon platinum lace glue and preferably um, when you are doing installs for braids, you want to make sure the foundation is very, very flat. I like to do these installs on clients who have alopecia and she in particular has alopecia. Whenever I'm putting down the glue, you want to put that glue all the way back. And the reason you do this is because you want to make sure that that lace sticks down because those braids are flat on the wig. So if you want to have that wig flat and have the braids to stay down and don't buckle you will need to put that glue all the way to the back because the unit is a 13 by 7 so you want to make sure that the glue is everywhere that that lace is going to lay on the front so i'm cutting off her stocking cap and this is a hc stocking cap um you can purchase it from a store or you know you can purchase from because now everyone is using these caps and you know they're very very thin i love that you don't have to really use a bunch of makeup because it blends directly to the skin now i'm going to go ahead and remove the comb from the back of this wig i do this because it helps the unit to lay flatter and it won't hurt my client's head whenever they are wearing the unit so i will be going in gluing down the back and sewing it as well now i'm going to go ahead and begin laying down this unit and what i like to do is start from the back and then i just kind of hold it in place and with this one it's kind of easy being that they have the one braid going down the middle so you can align that with her nose and you're going to pull it all the way to the front i like to lay down the middle of the unit first and then i work from side to side So right now, this is a very important step that I like to do. So I take the back of a Y2 comb and get in between those braids because you want to make sure that it's flat because if you don't, it will begin to buckle. That's why you need to make sure that you put that glue all the way to the length of where you will lay down that frontal. As you can see, the braid stops middle ways her head. So all I'm doing is put I put that glue halfway so that 
every part of the the unit lays because she doesn't have any hair and you don't want that wig to kind of buckle up in the top and this is another angle that um you know where you can see but yes all you're going to do is just take that comb and press down on the lace right now i'm going to begin cutting out the lace she wants baby hairs but with or without it um the unit will still look good so if you do decide to have baby hair you will make, need to make sure that you do not cut too close to the hairline because once you cut that hair you cannot put it back on that's that's just it but like i said with or without it, the unit will look good so just take your time and cut this lace off be using the got to be ultra gel glue this is going to help lay down the baby hairs these these baby hairs are synthetic so you will have to kind of work with them the best way that you can is you know it was a little bit hard for me to try to do it but I tried to make it work you don't want it too wild but she likes what she likes so I'm just kind of doing this on you know, for her personal preference but you can style them any way that you want to you can cut them this is what I'm doing you can watch me do mine you know do it your own way I'm going to go in now with my concealer kiss duo and this is going to help hide or disguise the knots on the lace and it helps to make it look more realistic as you can see it pops and make it look just like her scalp. So now I'm going to go in and glue down the back of the unit and then I will follow up and sew it down as well. She does have hair in the back. Previously before I got on camera I did use the Roberts Diamonds Protective Shield in the back and I put the stock cap on her because I knew that I was going to glue down the back and that will help protect her hair as well. Because her hair is thin I will be sewing through the cap because she does not have braids underneath. So you are going to go through the holes and then as you sew across, make sure that you pull that net so that it lays down flatter and doesn't move anywhere. Yes, there are gaps in the unit, but you will not see it and you cannot tell because these braids lay flat and they have it very, very full in the top. Please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, please leave your feedback in the comments. I do want to hear from you guys. Your feedback is very, very important. Then it helps me to know what you guys want to see on the channel. Now that I'm done sewing it down, I will bring down all of the braids together. And as you can see, this unit has very great coverage. No gaps are shown. You really cannot tell that it's a wig at all. And the company, you guys did a great job. I really, really like this unit. The braids are phenomenal. They look nice. The lace lays down really, really good. And it looks like she literally just got her hair braided. I love the, I just love the unit, period. Mm-hmm. <laughs>